Guardian Home Inspection forming sewer line inspection for 10370 Topeka Drive, Porter Ranch, California, 91326. Square footage on the property is 2,967, built in 1962. It's a three bedroom, three bath. The property faces north. So I'm going through a clean out located at the front of the property. The clean out is a four inch ABS clean out. So let me access this sewer line. So you have a two-way clean-out installed. So uh, let me turn this pipe. I'll turn the camera the other way, and I'll go inside the house. But for now, I'm headed straight out from the house to the city street. So let me back this up a little bit. Okay, so right at, so the, the main sewer line is ABS. So right at the uh, connection from the front of the house, let me zero out my counter there, it transitions to clay, see that? So right there it's clay. So it was ABS, now it transitions to clay here. So there's nothing wrong with clay, well, the only issue with clay is that it uh, the clay joints are comprised of concrete based material so sometimes they get damaged because of the concrete just erodes over time and the pipe lasts longer than the, the actual joint so that's when you could have issues uh, broken joints and tree roots can get in so right here's a turn Another turn there, multiple turns. We'll be able to get there, that's good. Some of these turns make it difficult to push this camera. This is a manual pushing camera. So basically I'm just pushing as I go and I'm observing the main sewer line. This is all clay, looks good. Um, the property, there's no real big trees. There's one to the right. So it's like located in northeast corner, a big pine tree. Oh, and there's one in the middle on the left side. So. Hopefully we don't see any tree roots, any damage. So far this pipe looks good, but you know, these tree roots can come any minute, any second, any, you know, like we can't predict any of this. So I'm just gonna trace this line and the goal is to get to the main city sewer connection, the main city saddle. So the homeowner is responsible up to the city connection. The city will provide a sewer line, a main sewer, and you as a homeowner are responsible to tap into it. So if there's any issues with this sewer line, it's, it's the responsibility of the homeowner. So hopefully we don't see any of that. Still going. Sorry for that smoke, sometimes that happens. On the way back, I should get a clearer picture. I'm gonna turn off all the water and everything, and then I can probably get a better picture. But lo and behold, there it is, tree roots. Yep, didn't want to see that, but there it is. So at that point, I have to stop. I cannot push my camera any further. There's a 95% occlusion there. You see that? So I'm gonna go mark that. I'm gonna see where it's at and uh, see how deep it is. I'll be right back. Okay, so I marked that area. It's located at the front near that tree uh, it's at the curb I put a little gray mark it's approximately five to six feet deep so that would require shoring so you'd have to dig that up shore it up and replace that pipe so that section of repair approximately is four forty five hundred dollars that's an approximate cost to do a spot repair but what you have to do now this is the recommendation the recommendation is hire a licensed plumber to hydrojet this line so they will clear out the line and then they're gonna stick a camera in again and do the reinspection inspect the whole line because at this point I can't get further than this obstruction so there could be another issue further down and or at the city connection so 
at the very least you got a forty five hundred dollar repair at the spot repair that to clear this up and then uh, but right now it's hard to say because you don't we don't know what's beyond that so the ideal repair right now as it stands is hydrojet reinspection of this sewer line and then you could uh, fix this joint if that's it if there's other joints that are damaged then you might have to line it uh, if it's a city connection issue you have to cut into the city street so uh, it's up in the air right now right now at the very least you're at $4,500 for this repair so now I'm just gonna retract my camera back uh, because I can't go any further I don't want to get my camera stuck um, so now this is all clay like I said that's one of the the issues with this clay line uh, the joints get damaged tree roots notice the leak they want to access the water the nutrients from the sewer line and they just start burrowing into this line and that's what it causes it's causing an obstruction so there is you know many many gallons of, of sewage that will fill this up so the homeowner might have not even known of this because it's if it's like one person or two people living in here you know it might not even back up for a while and uh, eventually it just kind of flows out but you get multiple people flushing the toilet and it'll just fill up this line and create a backup and you know that's a big issue um, so right now like I said all this clay line um, looks okay now I'm just backtracking like I said I got a better picture for some reason when I'm pushing I get smoke or that whatever it is that uh, I don't get the best picture but on the way back I get a better picture so now like I said I'm just retracting my, my steps and uh, this line like I said had a had a two-way connection clean out so I'm gonna go stick, stick it in and go up into the property just a little bit see what I see let me just uh, back this out real quick just to show you that's the same property one continuous video I have not edited this that's that property again clean out all right so let me go back in go the other way So now I'm going back into the house. There's a dump from maybe the kitchen. This will start to get smaller and smaller, maybe the four inch. And then I'll go underneath the house and look at this from the crawl space, the exterior pipe. Let's see, I'm going in the house. This is good. This is all ABS. On uh, the property of this age, you wouldn't see ABS. So this is replaced here. That's a good that's a good sign here except for that main sewer at the front so that's 30 feet out all right that's all I'm gonna go let me uh, Toilet. You probably saw a gush of water come in. So now I'm just gonna retract my camera. Yeah, so it looked good inside, underneath the house looked good. Good here. So 
So underneath the house, ABS, which is a good sign. I don't usually see ABS. All right, so I'm all done with the inspection. Give me a call if you have any questions. Thanks again.